it's um, Kay's hands in front and it's Maggie behind. <laughs> and this is our brand new window reading nook in tree. And it's cute. I'm really pleased with it's this one. Really lovely. lovely. So you've got a little reading nook, you've got your light, um, and you've got all your shelves for your books. And you also get the so called waste is the inside of your books, which look like, I'll have to get this out of the way. So when you make it up, you can make one up that looks a bit, well, mine looks like that. Ta -da. Ta -da. Oops, I've just thrown that. So as you can see, I've made the books up. So that's this little sneaky peek, if it's not out already, when you watch this video, is we've got dies to make books, but also... Hold on, I need to zoom in. Sorry, Kay, I wasn't paying attention. Right, go back towards you a smidge. That's okay. it? Okay. So I'm going to put... Well, that's it. So you can also get your little um, squares and little rectangles to make your book inners. So you can cheat and just make a cover to go around the outside. So then from there you can have little albums like so. You can have, what else have we got in here? You can have hardback. So that's just, that's just a piece of MDF, one of the MDF shapes and a hardback book in there. Okay, and then the smaller versions look like, um, well, I can see, there you go. So you've got smaller versions, so it'll be like, like a paperback. Okay, and I've coloured them white, so they look like paper. So some of them are black and some of them are white. So that's an easy, cheap way of making lots of books to go into your library. And what did you make the little tiny book with, Kay? The tiny, tiny book, that's a new Let die. Me. That's that's will be out either now. It's either be out now or very soon. So mm -hmm. there we go. That's that's one version of it. That okay, is so, so tiny. So so there's going to be a series of three. So you can make albums, hardback, which that is, or a hard um, sorry a paperback. a paperback, which this one is, or a hardback. Um, they're either just come out or they're about to come out or out soon. So anyway, you're getting worse than me, Kate. I am. So there will be a link at the at the, in the um comments of this when when it's ready okay so that's mine decorated so I'll just show you how to put one together whoops right, I'm just coming okay out. it doesn't like being tipped up okay so I'll just move those out of the way oh, I like the window view I've just seen that oh the window view that's somewhere in Harrogate because it was from a it's from a, a tourist magazine <laughs> flyer I'll hold it like that well you hold it then no because I'll drop it Come towards me a smidge. Well, the trouble is, if you tip it up too much, all the, all the books come out. There we go. That. All right. Right, okay, so. So. That's it. You can see the window. Scene. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, cool. so the, the scene is somewhere in Harrogate because that, that was the leaflet. It was a tourist leaflet. Oh, you just snipped it up, did you? Yeah, I just snipped it up, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, and the upholstery is made from that. That's the base for your upholstery. So you can put a foam bit on there and then you can put it through for buttons and what have you if you want to. So that, that helps with the pad for the upholstery. Then I made some little cushions. And don't look at my sewing because it's not very good. No. Okay. <laughs> so that is that really on. lovely, Kay. Right, so we'll put this together. So you get an instruction sheet. It will be printed properly when you get yours, but you will get all the layout pieces. So we'll go with, with what these are called. So I don't confuse anybody. <coughs> Your little book inserts, in um, pages, cheap pages, come in the windows and in a separate piece. So they're just always tabbed in. You just take them out and put them somewhere safe so you don't lose them. So you've got your window frame. So we'll start off with the window side, which is WS side on the, on the instructions. And then you've got your window frame. Now you can stick it in at this point if you want to. I'm not going to stick this one in because I want to decorate it first and then put it in later. And then I'm going to put some acetate on this side in between the two and a photograph or a scene on the back so you can put it outside your, outside your bedroom window or whatever okay so I'm going to put those that together later I will put the window sill in which fits in like that so that's just the window sill so just put a little bit of glue on that okay so then you have your shelves on this end so would you yeah, paint to... these Kay and the, the back the wall before you assemble it um, you've got to be careful that you don't cover the tabs. You don't the cover the tabs, and you don't make them wet either. So I, I made mine up and then I sprayed it. 
mm -hmm. white because that was the easiest way I found to do it. Um, um, it's entirely up to you, but you do need to make sure that you don't overswell your, your tab, the holes, because otherwise won't, nothing will fit into it, and you don't cover them either for the same reason. So I would probably make it up and then paint it. It's quite small, so you can paint it by hand quite easily. Mm -hmm. So you put your upright in there, so it's flush at the bottom like that. That's a bookcase side. That's a bookcase it? side. Or the shelf side. Well, what no, hold it? on, you've called it. It's a WS. It's shelf support. Yeah, that's shel called. shelf support. There we go, that's what it's called. Okay, and this is a top shelf. And that glues in along, I think we'll get glue along here as well. Okay, and that's it with the whole, this side, that's for your light. That fits in like that. This is uh, the light bulb, what have I called that? Uh, what? Uh, Bookshelf. Okay. It's BS shelf. No, it's not. It's it's a, it's a it's W side. So it's a it's a oh, window it's a WS side. Oh, WS top WS top shelf is the one with the hole in. That's it. And then, and that's then a, that is a that's a as a cover for the light. WS light cover. There we go. That's what it's called. And these are the shelves. So you just put the glue in like that. Now what you will find is that you will, it will move because you need to move them so you can get the tabs in. So you make sure that you do this while the, all the glue's wet. Right. Okay, you just need to. So can you see I have to move, I had to move the yeah. um the shelf. Just zoom in a smidge, hold on. I'll just put those yeah. out. Can you see that? Am yeah. I in the right place? No, you're fine. Don't push it any more forward, but we can see what you're doing at the bottom. Okay, and then they just fit in like that. Perfect. Okay. And then obviously you just take any excess glue out. We use our Teflon to uh, pencil tool, which is quite good for that sort of thing. Uh, a brush or your, or your finger in my case because I've got to bring the tool next to me. Right, okay, so when you get to that point, put that to one side and you're going to put it in, and you're going to put it together the bookcase side. So the bookcase side is you have your shelves for your bookcase, yeah, that's just your seat top, and that's the bookcase side and the seat front, okay, and that fits in like that. So we're going to do that in like that, okay, and then your bookcase side <coughs> fits into this side like that. So we'll put that on as well. So you put glue in sides like that. Fits in like that, okay. And your shelves, and you have one, two, three, four, five of these shelves, and they fit in there. And this one is the bottom shelf and it fits in like right, that. Right, can you just show me that separately? Yeah, I'll put these in first and then we'll get to the bottom one. So all you've got five that look like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're going to put those from the top to the bottom. So just put your glue in all the way around. Okay. So as you can see, it's not quite straight. It's not straight yet. Once you've got all these in place and everything squares up. In. So basically, you need to do it all in one go. Don't yes. wait for one bit to dry and then do no, the no, next no, no. bit because you, you need a bit of wiggle yeah. room. You can do this. You can do the side separately. Obviously, each, each side did separately. But once you've started a side, you need to carry on until because you don't want the glue to dry in this stage because you, you want to put everything together. Okay, so you've got your glue there. That's your last one. So that's your five. Okay, and this one has got the funny shapes on it. You so put you, it flat. So, we can see it. so it's like that, okay. Yep. And that bit fits into the base. So you put the glue on, like that, and that fits into the base. And you're going to have your plinth on here in a bit, and that fits in like that. Okay, so you take off any excess if you want to. I'll leave it on, but so you can see where the glue is. Okay, like that. So this one is your seat front. So you're going to put some glue here and along this piece here. And that's going to fit in like that. So you're going to put glue along there, all the way down the front here. And that's going to sit like that. Oops. You also need a bit of glue on that side as well. There you go. Okay, I'm probably putting a little bit too much glue on, but that's better than nothing enough, I suppose. There we go. I'll just take the excess off. And that. 
Okay, make sure everything's nice and straight and they even and together. And then just leave that to dry. Okay, so that sets for a few minutes. Okay. And then we can come on to put, putting everything together. So you come back to your first one, which is your window side. And then you can put your um, the floor on, which is the way around. So that fits in like that. So you put glue along those bits on that bit here. So can you see that? Yes. And when you're fitting the floor, you have the straight edges, the straight edges. Like that? Yep. Okay. So I'll just put that on there and I'll turn it around when I've done it. So it looks like... Mm -hmm. up, like that. Yep. Okay, at this point, if you want to, just to make sure that everything's... Is you can put a little bit of tape underneath and just... So it just helps. That's just masking tape. That's just masking using, tape, and you, which you take off afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's... So I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm going to put a little bit of masking tape underneath. Oops. Here. And then that will just help help it um, glue glue set. That's done. Okay. So what you're going to do now is bring this one back. I'll probably leave it to dry a little bit longer um, than I have, but just just to give it an idea. So you can put glue along here, glue along here and there, and glue along there and along these bits here. So I'll do that now. Let me see where I'm putting the glue. Can you see where I'm putting the glue? Yes. Okay. Up here. Okay, so you've got all your glue on there. And that fits in like that. And just bring it down. Oops. It fits in. So you've got, that fits in like that at the bottom. Can you see the bottom there? Yes. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then just make sure everything's straight. One bit, I did tell you to put a bit of glue in, so you could put a little bit of glue along here as well. So just uh, ease that up, so I just put enough glue in there. That's it. So just a bit of glue there. Okay. And then if you just that's, make sure that's nice and straight, just lift that up and just stick that down. And that just helps keep it in place. You will have, and what I tend to do then is put a bit more tape along here. Whoops, I've pushed that in, and I should have done. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put a bit of tape here just to make sure that fits in, and a little bit of tape here as well. So I'll do that now. Okay, what can we think? just show that little this little bit here? That doesn't actually go to the edge, does it? No, because I'll, I'll show you. Can I just put the tape on? Yeah, it's just if you're trying to line it up, you think, oh, it doesn't match, but it does. <coughs> right, so it fits. Flush here, and you have a little space here. Okay. You can show it under. Right there we go. All right. And you'll see why in a second. Yeah. Let me just zoom in because it's you can't see it. Uh. <coughs> right, I'll wait till you till you're ready. Just so you can see it. So you have a little gap there. Perfect. So when you lift it up. Okay, so what you do is just make sure that when that's dry, you can just paint that to your heart's content. I'll just so have another long, long enough piece of tape here. Just put that in. There we go. Okay, so that fits in like that. Your light drops in there. I've got a fine one. There you go, yeah, there we go. So your light fits in there, like that. And this piece here, fits on top. I wouldn't glue this in because obviously you need access to your light and that just sits in there like that. So that's the reason why you have that gap. So that fits flush along there. Can you see that now? Perfect. Okay. So, and then you've got the last finishing bit is your, is your plinth. So obviously take any excess glue off and your plinth just fits in there. Fits it. in there. So I need to, oh, sorry, I need to look at it. So So I'll just put, so I'm going to put that in there like that, but I, can't, I have to see what I'm doing. That's fine. You can show us when you've done it. Oh, they're noisy today. 
Well, it's still, yes, I think it's on the Zoom for what it sounds like. Sounds like it, yeah. And there we go. Right, OK, so that just fits in there like that. So that finishes, finishes it off, and I think that's yeah. everything. So then you have your cat. Oh, where's my cat gone? Let's have a cat. There's my cat. So obviously you need a bit of cat. The cat can be in the window. Don't forget you've got your window. You've still got your window to decorate and put in. So I will put um, acetate or um, Duralar clear at the back of that. So it looks like a window. And then my scene will be at the back of this. And then I cover the sides as I wish. And don't forget you've got your little bit of a, for upholstery if you, if you want it. So you can have a, like a padded seat for your seat, for your, your nook. So bring this one back in. Beautiful. So I've covered the back. Oops. And then, so I haven't stuck these in, so I should probably ought to stick them in really. And then you've got your nook like that. Okay. Your box like that. You keep falling. So I have to keep tipping at an angle so you can see it and I keep falling off. There we go. Okay, and that's our book nook.